Yeah, good, good. Um, you know, like I was, I was talking about the the Saxon Walled Forest, which mm. obviously now is where, uh, well, it's where the zoo is. Where the zoo is, and it's no. where the Guptas made their home Compound. in Saxon Wald, yeah, in the suburb of Saxon Wald, which is obviously named after the Saxon Wald Forest. Even the Saxon Wald Forest was was <clears throat> spelt slightly differently. Um, but pretty, yeah, yeah, pretty so. part of the world. Yeah, I yeah. know the pretty parts of Joburg. It is. Joburg's it's a lovely. It's a lovely part of Joburg. Have you ever had uh, tea at the Westcliff? I have, I have indeed, and and in fact, this that's that's really an apt kind of uh, thing to talk about because what I'm going to say now is, is you know the view from that Westcliff, you mm. can see you know how many trees there are in Joburg, and uh, and um, there's millions, you know, millions, mm. and and um, I suppose my my fact is that uh, Johannesburg is the largest uh, man-made forest. Mm. <laughs> Johannesburg counts as the largest man-made forest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you you spoke about like one of our previous episodes. We had these these urban legends that you think are true, and then you find out the facts are well, it's not actually true. Or anything. but I also know this urban legend as to be true. So I I've also heard that Johannesburg is the largest man-made forest. I, I actually heard more specifically. I'll say it's true, but I've heard more specifically that the claim is Bryanston. Is the largest man-made forest just Brian? Just, just tiny Brian's little Bryanston. Yes, uh, they and okay. then the estate agents refer to it as Leafy Bryanston. <laughs> of course, they do. Leafy Bryanston. Yeah, but yeah. estate agents refer to tiny places as being neat as a pin. You know, <laughs> like was, they, I, I, they have their own unique kind of language. Those in, in that cases. Yeah, in in my former life, I, I was able to with the the kids and and stuff. We, we actually rented a townhouse in Bryce. We got it at, at an absolute steal, but one of these old school, lovely townhouses, three bedrooms. We rented it for very affordable in Bryanston, in the heart of Bryanston. Like it was one of these forgotten old nineteen lovely sixties or something brick, and it was. So we stayed in Bryanston for about. No, three years, three and a half years. Lovely, very leafy. Nice. It was very leafy. It was very leafy. Yeah. Well, I mean, <clears throat> if you get that view, if you if you get a chance and you go and you sit at Westcliff and you mm. have you have tea or, or a mm. cocktail or something and you you look out over the the city, it's very easy to believe that it is the the, the largest man made forest. Yeah. Um, so I'll say it's in true. In the world, it's essentially, I'll say your fact is true. Okay. Um, it isn't true. It isn't. Ah. True. Yeah. It's one of those. Yeah. Ah. I know. It's one of those. It's one of those urban legends. I proudly wanted. South African. Please be true because we're so proudly South that's, African. Uh, that's how I felt as well. It, it's one of those urban legends that unfortunately isn't true, but is close. Ah, so good. as it turns out, yeah, as it turns out, it's not so bad. So firstly, it's not the largest man-made forest. Not, I mean, not even vaguely, right? <clears throat> There's a forest in China which they're calling the Green Wall, which effectively they're trying to forest Shit. right up against, right up against the Gobi Desert, the entire, um, the oh. entire stretch up there to try and stop the encroachment of the Gobi Desert. Fantastic. Yeah. So they've 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 planted some five hundred thousand square kilometers, which is oh, yeah, which is fifty geez. times the size of Johannesburg. They don't fuck around yeah. in China. <laughs> no, they they do not. Yeah. He's like, yeah, they do not. So yeah. They, 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 yeah, that's fifty times the size of Joburg, and that's just forest. It's not like an urban forest. So this is where some other people are already screaming at their at the podcast. Oh no, it's not. It's not the largest man-made forest. It's the largest urban man-made forest. Okay, so let's let's deal with that now because it's not that either, unfortunately. Oh. Yeah, so the the World Economic Forum did a, a study, and part of that study was that they incorporated Google Earth, and they just looked at how much greenery, how much canopy cover a city has. So then they and they kind of said, and they ranked the cities by canopy cover, right? And they ranked the cities as follows: so number ten was Frankfurt in Germany with twenty one percent. Number nine was Sacramento in California with twenty three point six. Number eight is Johannesburg with twenty three point six percent. Number seven is Durban. With twenty three point seven percent, number six Montreal, Canada, twenty five point five. Number five Sydney, Australia, twenty five point nine. Number four Vancouver, Canada, twenty five point nine. Number three <clears throat> Oslo, Norway, twenty eight point eight. Number two Singapore, twenty nine point three. And number one Tampa, Florida, thirty six point one percent. Now, but the, now the detractors are saying, "Yeah, but which of these are naturally green, and exactly. which of these are right?" Can you exactly. see, like I haven't thought this through. Like I'm, like, like I'm an amateur here. It's like you should write for People magazine. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're the, we're the, we're nuts about the facts. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but but yeah, so now you have to look at these and you have to say, okay, so which of them would be naturally leafy? In Tampa, Florida, obviously it's the Everglades and and yeah. and Florida's yeah. is lush and junk. Yeah. So perhaps that's not naturally leafy. Uh, Oslo, Norway, you know, forests around Forest. there. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's possible. It's mm -hmm. possible that it was naturally that it was naturally um, quite leafy. 
Um, even Vancouver, naturally leafy. Montreal, naturally leafy. You can imagine a lot of pine forests sure. in the area, right? You, you can you can kind of give it to them that they aren't in this like uh, yeah, they aren't just purely foresty. planted. Yeah, they aren't oh, just purely planted. The biome is forests, really, right, of right, these right. areas. So, We're Joburg is grassland. Joburg was, in fact, 100% grassland. So yeah. all the trees that have been brought in are, I mean, um, apart from the occasional acacia, thing. Are, mm. yeah, are actually brought in and planted by man. But then above Johannesburg, you get Sydney, Australia, where, you know, not exactly the the, the forest capital of, <laughs> of the world. So Sydney's at number five. <clears throat> then, um, yeah, and this is the big one for me because it used to be a swamp before it became a city. Uh, and that's Singapore, which is obviously really? ranked at number two now currently. So it, it all the trees and all the greenery and all the everything that exists in Singapore has been brought in and is, in fact, man-made. So so Singapore, wow. definitely. Sydney, probably mm, ahead, okay. of, ahead of Johannesburg Fuck, as man. man-made cities. But Johannesburg's on the list. We're still we're still number three. We're still doing all right. Come on, guys. Great. Yeah, go to <laughs> yeah, more trees. Yeah. But what's nice is that we've got two cities on the top ten. We're the only country in the world with two cities on that top ten. Is it, which was the other? Oh, uh, Durban at number oh, seven. Oh, Durban. Yeah. Durban at number seven. Durban. Yeah. Wonderful, man. Yeah. 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 So there you are. That's uh, So it's not true, but... Uh, you know, why not? We're pretty close. Nice. Let's yeah. just keep marketing it that way. Yeah. yeah. It's not like people are coming to Joburg for the crime, right? <laughs> yeah. The um, the uh, swamp thing, probably the planting of trees stopped the swamping. I think that, that happened in the Belleville region Called in Cape Town as well. I mean, that's, <laughs> swamping well, sounds like something that happens in your weird. underpants on a hot day. You know? <laughs> like it's not, I think it's that's what you do in the mosh pits at, at, a, at a rock concert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> swamping. <laughs> that's right. See, we were swamping like crazy, but it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, but um, so maybe that's what they did in 